هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos anesti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Welcome back everyone to the next segment of Big Bang Theory House BTS vlog. Oh, yeah. Let me give you time and day stamp. It is 8 hours and 5 minutes into the day of Monday, May 16, 2016. Yeah. Uh, I'm keeping things on schedule. I'm doing the vlogging the way I should be doing the vlogging. And this includes the times like now where uh, I'm up for a bit just to uh, have uh, some fuel to sort of refuel my body and uh, go back to bed again. And in the sort of these these pit stops, if you will. Uh, I get worked then. I was just uh, when I just moved uh, uh, episode forty four off the editing bay. That covers uh, basically uh, May thirteenth and May fourteenth. It continues the discussion uh, on atheism and physics. And I was sort of thinking about it because I also looked at some of the, some, some of the, I looked at my uh, analytics, uh, the Google and my YouTube analytics, and as I was sort of posting these videos, I noticed that two people unsubscribed. <laughs> and the thing is, I you know I don't expect my channel to be popular. I don't expect people to sort of be going, you know, being to fangirl or fanboy over the over the channel, but uh, <laughs> um, and a lot of it has to do with this. Why am I talking about atheism? Why do I have this religious stuff at the beginning of my video or talk about my religion at all? Uh, and the thing is, is because the the, my, the way what I believe actually has an impact in physics. Uh, And it's not that it that, that it makes me ignorant of things. It just sort of gives me another avenue. And I think this is how 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 and this is the kind of the way a lot of things fit, fit in my life. A lot of things fit in my life uh, through physics. They're an aspect of the research that I'm doing. Just the way I do, doing the quantum psychology, taking a look at. Psychology from an observation perspective, just like you do physics or ast or astronomy, uh, this comes and fits into a perspective of uh, of cybernetics developing the human model, and so that's the connection of physics to uh, cybernetics and, and and computer science, and also to psychology, which is not these aren't t traditionally things that normally fit together, but they do. And the thing is, quantum psychology goes in a direction uh, because it is, uh, by definition, uh, psychology is soul study. It also includes the the, the issue of theism of, of the soul, of uh, and then eventually of of religion. Is you know does uh, religion pl play a role or have an impact on physics on, on the research? And it does. Uh, it does affect how you understand things. It does affect how you view things, and so it needs to be taken into consideration. And this is, you know, I don't make an attempt to hide uh, my religious values this is because it, it's, if you want to call them religious values, because they haven't revealed much of the, the these values. They're, they're standardly viewed as religious values, but there's a lot more to it than, than simply saying, "Oh, this is a religious value." Uh, because I haven't gone in to define what a religion is. 
And most the common view of religion is it's, it's basically Christianity. That oh, you're religious, you're part of the religious right. And, it, and it, the the assumption is taken that particularly when you say you're Christian, that the view of Christianity is fundamentally white and European. And this couldn't be further from the truth. Um, the form of Christianity that I follow is significantly older than the, the than Europe. Uh, Europe goes back to about a thousand A.D. and the form of Christianity that I have uh, that I that I that I subscribe to, and this is more of an issue. The, 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 the this is more of a proper description saying that I subscribe to a particular uh, form of Christianity rather than being uh, religious about it because. Uh, the form that I subscribe to requires a uh, certain degree of study. It's not something you simply, well, my pa my parents were this and so I'm this and you're doing this because this is what your parents did. Uh, there's a much more significant and uh, conscious understanding of the direction that I'm going in in terms of uh, my... Um, spiritual direction. And this is where it comes in, in, in with uh, with the age and understanding of meditation, that uh, your spiritual journey is not simply one that is conceptual, but there must be an experience behind it. And this includes the physical form of meditation, the uh, hiking that I do on a regular basis, uh, do do food shopping is part of this meditation process. Uh, there's a lot more to it. Uh, I just now have got a camera so that I can, that I can take out with me. And it came up on the first walk, so I will be bringing the camera to church. I'll be vlogging more in church and providing more of an explanation. But only, only it's only the the general notes will come into here. The general note discussions uh, about some of my well, my raw notes will come into here. But the more in depth discussion will be on another channel called. Uh, that's part of the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV network, and it's called Byzantine and Antiquity Studies uh, TV, or Bass TV. Um, and it's going to look specifically at it, because the church that, the church that I subscribe to, the, the Christianity that I subscribe, I subscribe to, emer it comes and is integral to a lot of the studies in antiquity. So it's, an anti it's basically going in and studying antiquities, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you're going to try to understand this church, you need to understand a degree of uh, what actually occurred in antiquities. You also need to go, out, go in and understand some of the cultures of antiquity. Uh, I have, it, it happened to be in my backyard, this, you know, it happened to be in my backyard because I am Greek and I am uh, Syrian, and these are the, one of the, uh, one of the, the sort of primary uh, cultures of antiquity, including, uh, including Jew, uh, including Judaism. But the Judaism uh, of antiquity is different from the Juda Judaism of today, because to the Judaism Judaism of today is primarily uh, European, where uh, in antiquities it was not European; it was Middle Eastern, it was Oriental, it was Eastern in its nature, and, and this is why I say. When you look at the Illuminati, you look at all these different uh, sort of secret societies, they're talking about su the, the, su the Sumerian texts. Uh, they're looking to the East. And the thing is, if you're a person from the East, if your culture is there, then this is where a lot of Europeans want to go in terms of these sort of secret societies. This is where they're looking. And, and there does need to be sort of, a, the, you do need to have to go back in there and say, okay, well, okay, if there's such interest by these people who are higher up, who, who are sort of dictating where things are going to go next in terms of, you know, the Bilderberg and so on and so forth, or at least attempting to dictate the direction of things, that the things are going to take, take uh, go in, uh, then you should sit down and take a look at it and sort of see what's there. And you do this from, from a perspective of research, you do this from a perspective of uh, history, so that it, it it is not contradictory. It is not an oxymoron if you're going to be an open and free thinker to go and take a look at these things. Again, being a free thinker is you're allowing the research to, to dictate uh, uh, what you understand, where you see things, 
uh, you question things. You, you know, this, and the analysis and the questioning is not your. You're not questioning and doing the analysis of something else or someone outside of you. The analysis and the criticism is self-criticism. It's a self-analysis. Uh, and you're being critical of your own understanding. I think you're asking questions that you need to ask in order to further your understanding of what you're doing. And it does take time. And, it, and there is a, a physiological toll that it takes. And this uh, vlog, the video record, is a uh, record of this particular uh, uh, these of these particular phys phys these physiological effects. You can just, you can see it. So this is part of the whole uh, integration of things. How how things integrate. And of course you know, you can sit down, and, uh, and this is what I was realizing is that you know the the. the we're at the point where this needs to be explained further. And that you have, if you're talking about M theory of superstring theory, and M theory states that there are par parallel universes, well, uh, can't you use then the spiritual universe, the soul universe, in much the same way you treat dark matter and dark energy? Now, in other words, is, is, is there a physics to be studied there? And this is why you use the term quantum psychology, is that we are applying a physics type of research standard to psychology to sort of see, well, is there something there? Is there a hidden effect? And what you have to do is you have to look for pattern behavior, you have to look, look for pattern, pattern, patterns, basically. Basically, the way you, the way you look for uh, things that you see in physics. And then once you have sort of an understanding of this, you then, and on sort of the back end of things, Try to sit down and work on maybe is there, is there is there mathematics to this? Is there uh, an algorithm that sort of you can you, you can sort of use as a model? Can you, can, you, can you construct a model? Right? And cybernetics is this model. Cybernetics is the model of uh, the the human mind. Now you understand that it's going to be a model. All models are approximate are approximations. It is not the reality. The model is never the reality. It's always the approximation in, your, in what's high, what has been shown with the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, going back to quantum mechanics, is that uh, to date, no model has ever made, met, met reality. All models have been simply approximations. They were never able to get and predict dead bang on uh, what they're supposed to. So it still remains that uh, uh, the model is simply an approximation. Uh, anyways, I think I'm going to leave that here for now because I'm going to go back to bed. I've begun to realize that uh, uh, the clips that I put into the computer there for a particular uh, episode of uh, Big Bang Theory, was BTS vlog, that we're looking at uh, maybe three or four clips to provide an episode, so uh, now that I've got that down, sort of metered out, uh, I can sort of uh, pay attention to what goes into the vlog and how the, how the vlogs kind of uh, end up working out. So, anyways, uh, I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory Real's BTS vlog. Bye. Well, hello everybody. Welcome to the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory. Out. I guess now I can. I can. Well, I'm saying good morning, even though it's not necessarily morning. Uh, and doing more than one thing at a time. So, uh, let me give you a time and date stamp. Uh, it is 18 hours and 21 minutes into the day of uh, Monday, May 16th, 2016. Yeah. Um. I'm going to get YouTube started up here. I'm just going to sort of push the clip out onto uh, uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network. Uh, sometimes, I, I've, the one thing I'm working on still sort of trying to figure out is how many clips uh, I to remember how many clips I've recorded, uh, how many segments, uh, before I have to off offload the uh, memory clip, the memory uh, uh, card, and uh, put it into the editing bank. 
Uh, usually it's like three or four, but if the, the here's where the problem comes in. If our discussion goes over ten minutes, it splits it up into a ten minute file and whatever is left over. So, uh, <laughs> so this is something I'm gonna have to sort of uh, work around uh, and and deal with. But you know that that's that that these things will come in time as I get more and more used to this, um, and it becomes a regular thing. Then uh, we'll deal with it that that. Uh, so far, things are things are going pretty well, I would say. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the progress. Uh, I often wonder sometimes uh, uh, how uh, how everything's going to sort of fit together. Like sometimes, you know, I, I, I kind of run out of, like, like most YouTubers, you run out of ideas. Well, what am I going to talk about next? And But it never really fails that a topic will pop up and I'll be able to discuss and give an example. I wasn't thinking about this specifically last night when I went to bed, but when I woke up this morning, I was, uh, I was sort of thinking about this. And it's one of the areas I've been, I sort of sort of stumbled on uh, as I was doing research for uh, observational psychology. Uh, I kind of stumbled into onto an area uh, looking at behaviors that took me into uh, uh, Detroit uh, to look, look at videos on Detroit and as I was looking at videos on Detroit uh, and these are po pe people but who, who I like looking at videos uh, from individual people who live in Detroit on their views of their city or things going on around them so I don't necessarily look at uh, call the official news the, the, what we call uh, the, the standard sources. I go to alternative sources and particularly directly to the individual themselves. This is where my preference is. And uh, what it led it, ended up leading me to is it ended up leading me to uh, uh, one, uh, cars that cross railroad tracks trying to beat the train across and seeing someone get killed. Uh, Simply because they were trying to save five minutes, or something like that. Uh, uh, then it show it, it, and because YouTube su suggests a variety of different things. Then it starts showing uh, fires and showing what's happening in in, in uh, Detroit. That Detroit is, a, is slowly a dying city that is running out of money. Uh, it doesn't have enough people to staff the fire department. Uh, and you see this actually across the United States. You see start seeing these budget problems. But I was looking at sort of the uh, some of the houses that were burning, some of the situations that were going on, and it comes across in terms of the two things. It comes across in terms of how human beings react and and behave when a crisis is occurring. You know, the difference between panic and not panic, and even when you're not panicking. Are, do you have the right mind, the right presence, to sort of bring the right ideas in? And particularly if something is if something is, is not within your skill set. Uh, in other words, you don't understand understand this. Even though you've worked with it over and over and over again, you may be missing certain aspects of a or some physics some some physics of the things you've been working with. If you don't understand the physics, then some of the options that would be available would be available to you if you understood the physics simply aren't there and it causes problems and it, in many cases it costs lives. It costs lives of the firefighters, it costs lives of the people if they're trapped in the building, if the people are trapped in the building, it costs their lives. Uh, and of course these things also, when some of this life is lost, and you, you sort of see these tragedies, and this is what we call it a tragedy, it has a human impact and it has an impact on how, on, on who we are, how we feel. And uh, but to realize that there is a lot that's not understood when, when in, in terms of the physics uh, that that should be understood when you're dealing with firefighters, with the, when you're dealing with firefighting. And it's not my place to sort of step in and say, oh, you don't know what you're doing. It's not, this is not the case. It's not that they don't know what they're doing. It's that there are other aspects of physics within the fire that if they understood the physics, they could defeat the fire easier with less manpower. And that means if, if, if let's say, a department is short-staffed, if you can defeat the, the, fire, the fire easier with less manpower, then you could do more with less. Uh, and that's sort of how that sort of the physics translates into uh, the sort of the personal sphere. 
And I, the, the, these things sort of pop. I, I was thinking about this, uh, I think halfway through the night, I, I began thinking about this. I began sort of having dreams about fires and how to deal with fires and it sort of, you know, what, you know, what do you do? You rush in, or how do you, how do you, how do you uh, uh, create a cool zone that allows the, the uh, uh, that allows uh, the person to go in, uh, extract the people, and come back out again, uh, and another, another of these different things. So, uh, you do. This is it. You, you don't leave the science. You don't leave the research when you're when you're done uh, the day. It often falls you into your sleep, and this is part of it. So, anyway, my parents are calling. Let me just answer the phone here. I. Okay. But. Yeah. Different ringtone for my notification tone. The uh, song is the uh, the, uh, the J-pop song is the uh, notification uh, ringtone, and uh, that was uh, the phone zone ringtone. I think it was uh, yeah, it was uh, Hank. Uh, Google Hangouts, because I have a Google Voice, so. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, as I was saying, uh, physics often, in, often can be intertwined with our lives. There's a lot of things that we're, we're physics in. Uh, our observational psychology, our behavior can be sort of uh, linked uh, because physics does have an impact on our on our, our physical being. But I think also this, the, the psychology has an a impact on our physical being as well, so. Uh, yeah, I, when, I, when I wake up a little bit more, we, hey, this is the beginning of the day for me. I'll come back after I eat, after I've had dinner with, with my parents, and then we'll uh, sort of talk about things more. I still have more organizing left to do on uh, my uh, uh, notebook, so. Yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> Take it easy. With other people. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Jesus uh, Anesti, Messiah Khan, uh, Christ is risen. <laughs> I, the, 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 all my clips start off like this. All, all the segments start off like this. Even with the, sort of the, the, sort of the size, the exhaustion, the whole bit. Uh, but anyways, it's uh, six hours and seven minutes into the day of Tuesday, May seventeenth, two thousand sixteen. Yeah. Um. Here we are once again, late night. Uh, well, early morning. Uh, studying. It's been an on and off day today. It's it's been has it hasn't been bad, but it hasn't been terrific either. It's sort of in between. It's an okay, good day. Uh, in terms of getting work done, uh, I'm maintaining the uh, vlogging schedule. Oh. I just finished uh, doing going over the uh, the next episode that's going to go up in a few hours, about six hours around noon. This uh, this episode is going to go up. That's on my on my research desk right now. That will be done. This will be going into the editing bay. And we'll be having a grand old day. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sometimes in my notes, because this is these are my, these are my ad hoc notes. This is this is sort of behind the scenes. There is a bit of repetition sometimes because uh, you do need to go over things. You do need to go over and sort of think and mull in your mind. Uh, or, uh, things maybe you talked about earlier. Maybe the things you you, you as you, as you've had discussions as you've. Uh, uh, Done, taken extra notes or gone over extra notes, uh, things start connecting together, and so the parts that you've seen before are there already because that's the repetition part. And there's other parts that are sort of brand new and, and sort of pull everything together, and that's kind of what's happening now. Sometimes we have a bit of an overlap. Sometimes uh, I think the last few. Uh, uh, episodes have been some some overlap between uh, discussions and thoughts and ideas and uh, that 
it doesn't really say that happens. <laughs> um, I've been in an exhausted state. You know, this, this is it's seven days a week, and it's there's really there's really no there are really there are really no breaks here. This this is just kind of the way it is. So I think uh, tomorrow I'll maybe take some extra time off tomorrow or Wednesday. Uh, take some extra time off, uh, sleep a little bit longer, and uh, see if I can get myself into some, back into some degree of shape in terms of giving myself a little bit of a rest and uh, not working until my eyes are, are, are forcing to close, you know, or, 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 or uh, closing automatically. Uh, and you know when it gets, it, it's... You're getting tired and you're having a hard time thinking that this is probably it. So, uh, I'm going to leave this short here for now for this segment. I don't think there's going to be much of a heavy discussion now. Uh, and I said, this is a record of the physiology. This is the record of uh, what I'm doing. So, just vlogging itself here, coming and saying, hi, here I am. This is the state that I'm in. Uh, this is significant on itself in, in itself. And this is this is the whole part is, is, is the grab. You know what to say in your mind, uh, but when it comes out, it just doesn't come out right. <laughs> it's, it's that sort of lag between the line the, between the mind and the mouth, uh, the eloquence with what with what you thought you were going to say falls apart and doesn't come out the way you think it's going to come out. Uh, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this here for now. I will see you in the next segment of uh, Big Bang Theory's, uh, Big Bang Theory RL's uh, BTS vlog. Alright, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.